Nope, nothing strange going on here. I mean, haven't you ever seen a guy fly around a pop-up tent on the beach before? Okay, okay, I know this looks kind of strange, but I opened up this Wolfwise pop-up beach tent when the winds were blowing around 13 miles per hour, and now I have to peg it down so it doesn't blow out to sea. But before I get to that, check out how easy it is to open up this beach tent on a calm day. Just remove the black elastic band, hold it out, and let the galvanized steel frame do all the work. Now you'll notice when I do open it, I'm still holding onto it. Well, that's because when I first brought this Wolfwise to the beach, I really just wanted to toss it into the air like this cool blue guy here and have it land perfectly. Well, it never really panned out. Now, if there was ever a pop-up beach tent that needed to be pegged down to the beach, it's definitely this guy. Because it only weighs around four pounds, so even the slightest breeze can just whisk it away. Yeah, I didn't pay 79 bucks for this pop-up tent so I could chase it down the beach like some kind of maniac. Anyway, as I was saying, we're really gonna wanna stake this sunshade down to the beach. Now to prevent this sneaky guy from flying away again, Wolfwise provides us with eight of these cute yellow five and three quarter inch stakes, which work really well in hard packed sand. There's also four cute little sand pockets, which work really well, but to avoid a sandy mess like this when it's time to pack up, I prefer tossing in a few rocks if I can find any. Now for even more stability, there are four guy lines, which are easily visible, so I won't trip over them later. Now to make sure the guy lines don't yank the stakes out of the sand, I like to dig down a little bit and pick them down into the harder pack sand. One day I decided to go completely rogue and peg this beach tent down with these orange screws. I thought it was a great idea until I totally ripped off one of the stake loops. Now, being the beach gear guy, I really wanted to continue my review analysis with a fully intact beach tent. So I actually bought another Wolfwise pop-up beach tent for 79 bucks and gave the damaged one to my friend Spud for his birthday. Now, despite having the guy line set up, this Wolfwise beach tent doesn't really react well when the wind hits it from the side, which can make for a slightly awkward beach tent experience. Now we're back to this day when I opened up my Wolfwise Easy Pop Up Beach Tent in 13 mile per hour winds. This time, I positioned the sun shelter so the front would be facing directly into the wind. By the way, thanks for hitting that like button. And thank you so much for subscribing to my Beach Gear Guy channel, where reviewing beach gear is always one crazy adventure after another. And setting up a Wolfwise Pop Up Beach Tent on a day like this is no exception. Once I had the wind blowing directly into it, pegging down this beach tent wasn't half the chore I thought it was gonna be. It was performing so well when I set it up this way, I only needed the guy lines on one side. I zippered down the rear door flaps just to see how well it would hold up with the extra resistance. The durable anti-tear 190T polyester held right onto the galvanized steel frame without any problems. Now, of course, sun protection is very important for any sunshade. The interior of this sun shelter has a silver coating, which provides UPF 50 plus sun protection. Even the tent floor has a silver coating, which proved to be very durable on a rocky beach, as I did my best J-Lo dance number right on top of it. Now, being six foot five, one of my biggest questions I had about this beach tent was would I be able to sit in it on a beach chair? Well, if I position the beach chair closer to the front, Yes, I can fit, with even a little bit of extra headroom to boot. Now I do admit, I may seem a little bit overly excited about this, but considering that I have to kneel in the shower to wash my armpits, I always find it very comforting when I can find something that can accommodate my height. Although when I scooch the chair towards the back of the beach tent, well, have you ever seen the movie Harry and the Hendersons? Wolfwise suggests that this particular beach tent, which is referred to as the Split Wave R10, is a three to four person tent, which includes three adults or two adults with two kids. I'm thinking that this capacity suggestion could actually work out if everyone is sitting on their bottoms. Now, don't worry about a lack of ventilation because there are two mesh windows that can be easily rolled up and toggled. 
Plus there are mesh vents on the bottom of the rear door, which according to the website, is for better dissipation of body heat and odor. Now as you have seen, opening this Wolf Wise beach tent takes about, I don't know, two seconds? Folding up this beach tent, however, takes a few more seconds and a little bit more effort. So here's how I've been folding up this particular WolfWise pop-up beach tent. First I want to pull the top and the bottom frames together. Then join them together in one hand like you're holding onto a giant tortilla. Place the tent upright while still holding the frames together in one hand. Next, I want to bend the top of the tent down towards the center until I'm holding two big circles. And then I want to slide the two circles together until we have one circle. And there you have it. The carrying bag is about 30 inches in diameter, and it weighs about four and a half pounds when everything's packed in it. It fits perfectly into the trunk of my Toyota Camry, and it fits in the back of my Jeep Wrangler too. But what I really like about this Wolfwise pop-up beach tent is that I can easily carry it to one of my favorite spots on the beach. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch my review video, and I hope you take it easy at the beach.